Earlier this year, Australian Minister Paul Papalia detailed his plan to steal thousands of UK workers and fill vacancies in Western Australia. He made that bid here on this programme. And it's working. The first wave of police recruits have just arrived down under, but uh, they're not the only ones to go there. Over 1.2 million Brits who were born in the UK have now moved to Australia, and that makes it the country's biggest migrant population. After the recent campaign, more than 1,000 UK police officers applied to make the move. Uh, with an average starting salary in the Metropolitan Police of around £36,700, it's not surprising that they've been tempted by the equivalent of £47,000 for a police officer in Western Australia. Well, police officers Anna Miller and Ben Woods left their lives in the UK to relocate to Western Australia, having moved there in the last month. And they join us now alongside, I guess, what we should call the Pied Piper of Perth. Uh, that's the state's policing minister, Paul Papalia. Um, let's start with Anna and Ben. Uh, Anna and Ben. <laughs> Anna, to begin with you, what was, the, what was the light bulb moment that made you decide to go down there? The reasons we came to Australia were just the lifestyle, you know, living in this fantastic country in this fantastic climate. I mean, what more could you want? There's just so much on our doorstep. I've got three young children and a fantastic husband and we're really outdoorsy. We love the outdoors, anything physical. And Australia has it in abundance. Um, and it was a no-brainer for us to come when we got this fantastic opportunity to just jump at the chance. Had you been thinking of doing it anyway before Paul made his pitch on this programme? Sorry, say that again. Had, had, you, had you been thinking been of, of emigrating oh, down there yes. anyway so, um, before Paul made I his I had travelled around Australia in Ooh. my... In my... <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah, we had. We, me, and my, my, me and my best friend, we'd come to Australia um, in our younger days, long before children yeah. came along, um, and we travelled all the way around. We did the West Coast and the East Coast. We were here for a year on a working holiday visa and absolutely loved it. Uh, me and my best friend, we fell in love with the country and it's been something that's stayed with me, really. Um, and another big factor as to why we'd want to live here in this country. So the, the fact that there is a massive delay on this line is indicative of just how far away mm -hmm. you all are. Mm -hmm. And Ben Woods, <laughs> you have won a national award for bravery, <laughs> having yeah. saved the life of a woman by clinging onto her when she oh. fell off the edge of a cliff <laughs> during a storm. Ben, we don't want you over there. <laughs> we need you back here to do more of that. What on earth's going on? <laughs> Too late. Oh, don't. Do you know what? My colleagues are going to hate <laughs> you for saying that because they're going to say, stop, stop riding on the coattails of that job that happened years ago. <laughs> but, um, no, I'm, I'm just going to come back out here and do exactly the same for the Australian people, you know? Give the communities here the same service that I gave the communities back in the UK. So, yeah, it's your loss, but it's Australia's gain. <laughs> right, Paul Papalia, we have spoken a number of times. I think the last time you were on this programme, you said, come over to Western Australia. <laughs> Clearly, people are reacting. We've called you the Pied Piper. You were on last when I was presenting with Ben Shepherd. Ben wants to say to you, commiserations on the fact you got thumped by Wales at the weekend <laughs> yeah. in the rugby. It's, all, it's not oh, all sweetness and light yeah. over there, is it? <laughs> Take your hands off our police officers <laughs> and our public sector. <laughs> we <know>. need them. <laughs> 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 I'm hoping that some of them can play rugby as well. <laughs> and then we, uh, you know, we'll improve our rugby team and uh, get more police. But uh, it's wonderful that they're here. Thank you so much, Good Morning Britain, for promoting a wonderful <laughs> opportunity here in Western Australia. These guys are the first of the wave. There's going to be many more. This is going to go on. We're going to continue to recruit for the next five years. I have to say, looking, looking at the picture that we have of you there, it's your spring now. We're moving into our autumn and winter and you're moving into your spring. It does look beautiful. What's the, what's the temperature going to be there today? Yeah. Just give us a quick weather. <laughs> so so I'm, sitting, I'm standing here in a suit, as I always <laughs> am at a beach when I talk to you. Um, this is 37 degrees today. Uh, but it is early spring, so not really summer yet. Um, we're at Mullaloo Beach, which is about 10 minutes from the police academy. 
There's 123 kilometres of beaches on the in the Perth metropolitan area, and they all look exactly like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah they stunning. do. Absolutely That's stunning. very true. Well, look, we don't want to be churlish, really. No. Uh, Anna and Ben, enjoy your new lives. Um, we're sorry to lose you. <laughs> Um, and thank you very much indeed for being on the programme. Paul Papelia, we might just stop acting thank as a you. recruiting channel yeah, for you to take uh, our workers, but thank you again for being with us. I please. think this will be Paul's <laughs> last, last appearance on, yeah. on Good Morning Britain.